Sandra, you are the one who summarizes the lessons, and you are good. <laughs> Why, thank you, Colby. Gracias. Bueno, el presente simple del verbo to be. Esto se lo debería saber todo el mundo, a no ser que seas un super principiante, pero vamos. I thought you were going to say something else. I was going to assume. No. Please, Sandra. Colby, no. No, vamos, si ya estás entradillo en el tema, esto deberías dominarlo, así que esto servirá como repaso, ¿vale? El verbo to be es el único con tres formas en el presente. Así que eso es lo que complica un poco la cosa. Eh, se utiliza tanto para decir ser como estar, que es lo que le complica la cosa a Colby cuando habla español. Sí, eso es complicado para mí, para decidir qué forma de ser tengo que hablar. Sí, así que tenemos I am, ¿ok? You, we, they are. He, she, it is, ¿vale? Cuando hacemos la forma negativa, usamos not, pues decimos I am not, y si queremos contraer, decimos I'm not. Solo tenemos esa opción con am. Eh, ahora fijaros que con you, we y they usamos are not, y pues podemos contraer de dos maneras. Podemos decir, por ejemplo, you aren't o you're not. Esas son nuestras dos opciones, si queremos contraer. Ok, so I could say, we, we aren't, uh -huh. or we're not. Exactly. So I contract in two different places. Exactly. All right. Eh, he, she, it, se usan con is, así que decimos it isn't, ok, or it's not. También tenemos dos opciones ahí. Bueno. Para hacer la pregunta, el verbo to be y el sujeto se cambian de sitio. Pues fijaros, la afirmativa, they are here, ellos están aquí. Pero si queremos preguntar, ¿están aquí ellos? Eh, are they here? Pues hemos cambiado el they y el are. Are they here? Eh, y nada, eso, they se usa para decir ellos y cosas en plural. Somos familia. We are family. I see, I hear a song. I know, out. I know. Can I sing? We are family. <laughs> bueno, eh, el vino de Rioja es excelente. Rioja wine is excellent. Okay. Yes, it is. It is. And it is famous. Well, And it is expensive. Expensive? No, it's not bad. It's not. It isn't bad, or it's not bad. <laughs> All right. No está en la oficina hoy. Who? Él. He isn't in the office today. Mm -hmm. Tienes razón. You are right. You know what? I'm going to record this, and I'm going to play it on the show all the time. It's the little recording. Tienes razón. You are right. <laughs> es que siempre tengo razón. No, I'm, I'm going to play right. it for me. Oh, oh, okay. Eh, los jugadores de baloncesto no son bajos. Basketball players aren't short okay. in general. So, fijaros, no decimos aren't. No, we say aren't. Aren't. Eh, las cenas son en marzo. The dinners are in March. So imagine you have a series of business dinners or something. When are they? They are in March. Okay. Está feliz hoy, ella. She is happy today. Mm -hmm. Es una niña feliz. She is a happy girl. So notice both estar and ser are to be in English. Very good point. Eh, estoy aquí. I'm here. Mm -hmm. I am here. Eh, ella es alta, pero él es bajo. She is tall, but he is short. Do you know any couples like this? Where the yes. girl is really tall and the guy is really short? She is Scottish and he's Spanish. And, well, she's about, I think, one meter ninety or wow. so. so. She is very tall. And he is about one seventy-six. So there's a big difference. Wow. There's a big difference. But they are a great couple. So they are happy. They're very happy. They're well, very that's, happy. That's all that's important. Exactly. 
Um, let's see. No están listos para la obra. So they aren't ready for the play. So I, obra de teat teatro. They aren't ready for the play. Mm -hmm. Estamos en camino. We are on the way. So estar en camino to be on the way. Mm -hmm. Es un hombre grande. He is a large man. Okay. Las maletas son viejas, pero el bolso es nuevo. The suitcases are old, but the bag is new. Cool. My, my bag is new. You always have a new bag. <laughs> exactly. Okay. ¿Están ahí para la presentación? Are they there for the presentation? Mm -hmm. ¿Tenéis frío? Okay, so here in English we use the verb to be. In Spanish you use tener, but we say literally, literalmente decimos, ¿estás frío? Mm -hmm. Are you cold? Mm -hmm. So in this case, ¿tenéis frío? Are you cold? All right. ¿Somos los siguientes? Are we next? Notice we don't say, are we the next? No. Are we next? I've heard that said many times we incorrectly. Are the next. Yeah. No, no se dice. ¿Es la candidata Sheila? Is Sheila the candidate? So you must, I suppose you're trying to find a candidate or choose a candidate. Is Sheila the candidate? Mm -hmm. ¿Está gorda la gata? Is the cat fat? Is your cat fat? My cat is really chubby. Está muy regordeta. Rellenita. Eso es. She, she lives a good life. The most cats do. She sleeps and she eats. Okay, ¿están aquí en invierno los pájaros? Are the birds here in winter? You know, there are a lot of birds that are here in winter. And normally they are in Africa in winter. But now they are here all year. Yeah, it's true. So something is not right. It's true. ¿Estáis seguros? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. ¿Tienen hambre? So similar to tener frío. Mm -hmm. We say in English, ¿estás hambriento? Mm -hmm. Are you hungry? Well, in this case, ¿están hambrientos? Are they hungry? Exactly. ¿Está ella enferma? Is she ill or is she sick? Yeah, I, I don't know why, but I always say sick. Is she sick? Which right. is the word I use. Eh, ¿Están calvos los policías? Are the policemen bald? Maybe that's why they wear hats all the time. The mud, they are outside. The sun is very strong in Madrid. That's right. Okay.